My name is Lee Chismar. I'm the chef at Bolit Restaurant. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, the best sandwich ever, which is a, a menu item that we have on the tavern menu here at Bolit. Um, and basically it's like a BLT on steroids. <laughs> so the best sandwich ever contains heirloom tomatoes that we have from Liberty Gardens, um, which I think is one of the best tomato farms around. Um, really my philosophy of the restaurant is to find the best ingredients and not do anything to mess it up. So the neat part about this is how simple it is. Um, so I recommend to everyone out there, scour the farmer's market or your backyard, depending on wherever you think the best tomatoes come from, find those and use those for the sandwich. Which are opal basil, green basil, a house-made mozzarella, um, house-cured bacon, um, we use a house-made sourdough, um, and truffle aioli, pickled shallots. This is we're gonna grab some of our heirloom tomatoes. Um, and I always like to use a, a couple different varieties. Um, here we have Red Flame, uh, Early Girl, and a Green Zebra. And now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and slice them. You always want to have a really sharp knife when you're dealing with tomatoes. Um, and I try not to go too thick on my tomato slices. That way you can get a few more um, kinds of tomato on there. And the sandwich actually stays, to, to, uh, stays together a little better with thin slices. Next, we're going to lay these out. Um, I think the really, the difference between a really incredible BLT and one that's just so-so is seasoning. A lot of people forget to season their tomatoes. Um, here at the restaurant, we use a little sea salt. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly sprinkle this over. The sea salt's kind of nice too because it's bigger crystal. So you actually get a little crunch of salt with the tomato when you're eating the sandwich, which is really nice. All right, and then I have a little freshly ground black pepper. And then that's it. Next, we're going to slice our house-made mozzarella. Um, the same thing, I'm going to stay kind of thin with this. Um, since we do have more ingredients than the traditional BLT, you want to be careful not to overload the sandwich, or else it will just fall apart. So usually I take about four or five slices. And then from there, we're also going to season our mozzarella. And I'll just lay this out. Again, we're going to use sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. And just a little pepper here because we are going to toast this later. You don't want it to burn. House made uh, sourdough. And we're just going to come in. I have truffle aioli. Um, and really what that is, a lot of people I don't think actually know, aioli translates to garlic in Italian. So really, when you hear aioli, it's basically a garlic mayonnaise. Um, and then whatever other ingredient, you know, we'll do a lot of things like lemon and mustard, aioli, or in this particular case, it's truffle um, aioli. So we actually have canned truffle pieces that we um, puree into the mayonnaise when we're making it. Um, I think it's important to get just the right amount on here. Possibly some people may, might say too much, but I think it's good. You want to have a nice bite of aioli in every bite. Um, so next, I'm actually going to take our basil. Um, this is green basil. Uh, and what I do is I'm lining the bread itself. Um, and then when we stack our sandwich, what the basil kind of does is it'll act as a barrier for all that juice that's soaking out of the tomatoes or dripping out of the tomatoes. Um, and it'll help keep your sandwich from kind of turning into a soggy mess. So I do green basil on one side, and I'm just going to take my, our opal basil on the other side, which is, just has this beautiful purple color. All right. So next we have our tomatoes that are cut thin. Um, and really when I'm doing this, I'm kind of building you know, the foundation for the sandwich. So we don't want to, you know, stack too many in the center um, or too few on the end. We want to kind of keep it as even as we can. So I kind of work from around from corner to corner. So next we have pickled shallots. Um, these are really just shallots that we cut super thin. Um, and then we actually pickle them in sugar, water, um, and for these, we use beet juice, and that's what gives it this beautiful purple color. 
next we have some of our house cured bacon. Um, and basically we're just going to line this straight across. We usually try to get about five pieces per sandwich because here at Bowie, we don't feel like you can ever have too much bacon. Next we have our, our mozzarella cheese. Um, and we're just going to go straight down. One of the other things that the mozzarella does, we're going to kind of melt this over the top and that will actually um, kind of work as a little bit of glue to help hold the sandwich together. So next we're just going to we actually use a butane torch to go ahead and melt our mozzarella. I think the one thing that the torch does do is it actually gets you a little bit of uh, caramelization um, or sometimes in a boiler your cheese will melt down a little bit more before it will actually color. Um, but with the torch, you get a little bit of that caramelization, which adds a little bit of flavor. Alright, so last but not least, we're just going to top off our sandwich here. Um, and we'll go ahead and slice it. We'll go ahead and slip right back in. Here's the best sandwich ever. Please feel free to make it at home and see if all of your friends agree.